Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown and opinion of the new HBC200 from Euclear Bluetooth unit. So the HBC200 is the successor to the HBC100. We saw the HBC100 come out a couple years ago. It's going to be a stereo Bluetooth unit that's going to connect rider to rider, rider to GPS, rider to music. The beauty in the next version is now you're using a multi-hop technology that actually uses these as repeaters. So you can link up to 10 people together. I think they're calling it the, the relay or the supergroup connectivity. So what that allows you to do is four people can be full duplexed at one time talking to each other, which is awesome. But then if you have up to 10 people in your group, there's a 700 meter range between each Euclear HBC 200 and every person that you add increases the length of the chain. So you can get up to 10 people and really spread out your communication because if you're talking to rider three and he's a mile away from you, you can have rider two who sits in between actually strengthen and relay the sound. It's definitely military technology that they've incorporated into the new unit. Also looking at the new unit, the HBC 200, it's gonna be A2DP as well as AVRCP. Big acronyms, what do they mean? A2DP is really high quality of stereo sound for music. AVRCP means that you can pause, play, fast forward. There's also voice activation on the Euclear HBC 200. Now I will say the big things that stand out to me besides the fact that it's one of the easiest to install Bluetooth communicators on the market, it literally takes a minute and a half. Here's the key. The key in all of this is that it's a boomless unit just like the HBC 100 is. So as you can see, I have it installed here. There's no boom that's coming out. So for those of you guys that don't like the boom, that have a little bit of room in between your face and your helmet chin bar, this is a very cool option. What they actually do is I'm going to pull out one of the cheek pads here, is they actually have the microphone, which is built in to the tip of the speaker. And that actually sense where, senses where the sound's coming from, from when you talk. And what it does is it digitally processes the sound. So it actively noise cancels, it actively looks for signal to noise on that sound being generated by the human voice. And what it does then is it creates a digital packet that it sends Bluetooth to Bluetooth when it's actually going connect, to connect with the other units. So it's processing the sound multiple times. Really they call it distilling the sound. So you're getting a very clear, a very clear conversation. Now I will say this, that any bike tends to get really noisy over that you know, 60 mile an hour mark. And wood noise will be a factor. And we've had some guys on our staff and from our customer base that have had great results and some guys that haven't loved it. I think it comes down to positioning of the speaker on top of your ear as well as the speaker in relation to where it is on your head. It also depends on your fairing and it depends on how much wind noise or how much turbulence you're getting to your helmet. I think it varies. I'm gonna give the sound technology a seven or eight on the scale. I'm gonna give this guy on the install scale about a, a eight or nine out of 10. It's extremely easy. It's literally one wire. Comes with a, a wall charger, comes with a USB charger. The new HBC 200's firmware upgradable, which is really, really nice. They did work between the 100 and the 200 on a newly refined, Control unit, I still think that for the everyday rider that might ride in warmer conditions, it's pretty easy to find the three buttons. It's up, down, and volume. It's also going to have your main power on, power off, and it's very easy to pair these, both with your phone, your GPS, as well as other riders. It's very, very simple and quick. But I will say for those of you guys that are riding deep into the cold, they're using a beefier, gnarly adventure touring style glove, I still think the Cardo G9 and the uh, Cena are gonna be a little bit more usable options. I'm gonna go on the record and say that. But honestly, for the around that $200 mark, for full AD, 2DP for stereo sound. I think the speakers also, you need to keep in mind when you're purchasing an, A2, an HBC 200, I think they're gonna be thicker than what we see from some of the other manufacturers. And I really call that out as a pro and a con. The pro is you're gonna get better sound out of them. You're gonna get rock solid sound even with music. I think the con is because they're thicker, you need to have a helmet that has to have cutouts in it. It needs to have an area for this guy to go comfortably either via sticky or via Velcro because if you have a helmet and I can just name one off the top of my head that I wear, I have a uh, AX8 DS from AGV. It doesn't have those cutouts. I ended up having to trim my cheek pads so that I was able to fit some room for the speaker because over time if you're just kind of wedging it in between your ear and the helmet without any kind of a recess, it is a thick it is one of the thicker speakers that are on the market. So you also want to keep in mind that I if I'm going to nitpick again, I'm going to ask that um, hopefully maybe in a firmware upgrade or moving forward, right out of the gates, the HBC200 is not compatible with the HBC100. They're using slightly different technologies. So that is one of the limiting factors. If you and your crew have HBC100s and you upgraded to the 200, you're not gonna have it be backwards compatible like some of the other 
um, groups of Bluetooth communicators that are out there. Overall, though, you're getting 10 hours of talk time, two weeks of standby time. It charges in two hours. They actually increased also on the HBC 200 the temperature range. So now it's temperature stable. It's functional at negative 30 to 140 Fahrenheit, which is awesome. And now it's rain and snow resistant as well. So while they have changed the unit, the function, and the resistance factor, I still think there are some things they can improve upon it. But overall, for around that $200 mark, I think it's a rock solid choice for the guy who's not wearing gnarly beefy gloves all the time or somebody that wants a really quick install. I mean, from an installation standpoint, I'm going to show you how quickly this guy pops off. Very, very simple. There's my unit. Here's my clip, which slides right off. It's a very easy rubberized clip that you can remove. And then because there's no boom, it's very simple in its speaker construction. What I do is I just kind of ran the wires behind my cheek pads here in my roof helmet. Yeah, it's a roof helmet. Yes, we don't sell them. I've been testing it. But uh, if we look at it, it's a very quick and easy install that only takes a few minutes, so keep that in mind. So again, bang for the buck factor, functional factor. I think it's gonna be one of the better ones that are on the market. There are some cheap guys out there, but honestly, we do see you know, the Cenas and the Cardos that are kind of leading the pack. I think Uclear is hot on its heels, and it is the rock solid choice for those of you out there that want a boomless option, which is a really nice luxury that nothing's getting in the way of your face. Again, that's the big selling point here on the HBC 200. Love to hear your comments and your feedbacks on our YouTube channel. Click here to subscribe to us, join the conversation. We're happy to answer your comments or hear just your gut reaction there. Also remember, if you don't like it, you can always send it back to us with no restock fee, no exchange fee. So we ship for free, exchange for free, no restock fees, over 39 bucks. Earn Team Zilla cash on any order over $100. Save you some money in the long run from RevZilla.com. And find the Uclear HBC200 at RevZilla.com. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.